He said, I think they're cooking the books, but I don't have the power as a regulator to go in. He said, I don't have the power that we have over bank savings and loans and credit unions of capital ratios. He said, we got problems here, and we got to do something about it, and we agreed. We began to move to regulate. Treat them the same way we treat banks, savings, and loans, and credit unions. Between 2001, when we began that effort, and 2005, when we, when we passed a bill through the Senate Finance Committee, they went out and bought $1 trillion worth of mortgages in less than five years. We passed the bill through the United States Senate. At that point, they were leveraged probably 20 to 1, which means that if they had a 5% or 4% decline in the underlying value of their assets, they were wiped out. We passed the bill through the Senate Finance Committee on a party-line vote. Democrats led by Chris Dodd stood up and said to Richard Shelby of Alabama, the chairman of the committee, if you bring this to the floor, we will filibuster it. One of the first tasks taken by the newly elected senator from the state of Illinois, Barack Obama, was to join the Democrat filibuster against reform of Fannie and Freddie. When he sits here today and says, we need to hold people responsible for their actions, I say, let's start with you. Yeah, we were unilateral. We went to the United 
United Nations to get a resolution approving the use of force. We had 35 countries supporting the effort in Iraq. 33 of them with troops. The others with naval support or over our, our basic rights. That wasn't acting unilaterally. Let me tell you what was acting unilaterally. Taking a patiently and carefully drawn agreement with the Polish government and with the government of the Czech Republic to base missile defense systems in their countries and unilaterally abrogating it in order to curry favor with an imperialistic Russia. That's what was in the It's not just about winning votes. It's not even about winning arguments. 